just wanted to show you this playgrounds full picnic shelters full everybody's barbecuing got groups hanging out parking lots full in fact this wasn't the hike I had in mind I had to park a long ways away I don't want to freak people out by making a video so but uh, I got a hike through these people down here to get over to uh, 35 and we'll cut back into the forest and then I'll continue the video from there but uh, this is this is what we're seeing in Florida everybody in the damn planet is moving to Florida and uh, every place I used to go and, and be by myself is it's gone there's just so many people moving into the state but I mean I can't blame them you know this is what it is to be free look the kids are on the swings they're having fun you know here's a couple girls they're outside with masks on yeah don't know why they're wearing masks you don't see anybody in the picnic shelter here wearing masks all right so that's the introduction for today let's get going well let's just give a quick look back I was gonna pull in here and I was gonna park here but as you can see I just think it'd be dangerous you know I'm more worried about people you know hitting my car or breaking into it or whatever I just try to stay away from the public in general and uh, so I had to park I had to park about I don't know four or five miles from here on, a, on another parking lot that I know about that nobody here knows about which is good <laughs> but anyway we just hiked through this area and uh, you've seen this all before we're heading up on to and I cut through here a while back so sometimes it's not all about uh, working on the Florida Trail sometimes it's just about enjoying your your the fruits of your labor and that's where we're heading right now uh, you know once again I don't know why them tax dollars are cutting all of this land and uh, speaking of tax dollars I hear the uh, the latest uh, package that Biden has passed all of the taxpayers here in Florida are now going to pay for the idiocy that took place in New York and California uh, with our tax dollars because they're going to redistribute those funds to bail out the states that uh, locked themselves down and, and destroyed their economies uh, and it wasn't just the the virus that did that it's you know they had the unions the teachers unions and everybody's grifting in those states you know and uh they uh they've been they've been on the downswing for quite some time i'm just pissed off that i'm paying for it and uh everybody in florida is going to pay for it but hey at least a lot of them are moving here now i just hope they don't vote democrat and turn this into another grifting state but uh we're going to get on across uh, 35 here if you recall in previous videos i cut my way through here and uh, it should be a good hike once I get away from all the people here. And, uh, and then I'm going to make an Iraq War video if you're tuning into this and you've already uh, cut, cut the video off. It's kind of the theme of the day. I want to talk about uh, the Iraq War and that's, that's, the, that's the theme of the day. I'll take a real, real brief video, but if you recall way back I cut my way right through here. This was completely overgrown. No way you could have hiked it. And, uh, Real proud that it still looks great. Uh, definitely hikeable. And uh, we're just coming up by 35. Now once we get back in the forest with all the out all the car noise and everything, I'll, I'll start talking about the Iraq war. But, uh, and then of course, you know, you, you got the tunnel right down here, if anybody ever sees this video. And then there's another tunnel on, on uh, 4, I think it's 4, 464, 484. Anyway, let's keep going. So everything in life, changes this is where I cut through coming up beside the road and if you look way back here you can see the two orange uh, dots on the uh, telephone pole because that's where the polar trail used to go but man check this out I guess they, maybe they got permission from the homeowner or the landowner I should say and uh, this is, used to be a 4-H camp um, but uh, look at that they just cut right through that fence um, which you know I really don't understand a lot of fences around here in Florida there's just 10 fences everywhere but look the trail just cuts right through the forest here what a nice uh, addition I, I, I wonder who did all this that's cool let's keep going well I wanted to get this on the video um, the Florida trail in the past went down this way 
and I'm wondering if they, you know, they got the marker right there and they took down the fence right here. So maybe we're going to go up through here, which would be a nice uh, change to the hike. Uh, of course, all that work I did, <laughs> cutting all that down, <laughs> is a moot point. But let's follow this and see what happens. But I'd show this real quick. I mean, if you recall, I, I cut the way through here, and it uh, looks like they've done even a little more work. Uh, so the trail is underneath this bridge now is is really easy, and uh, we're heading back into the forest here, and we'll get started on the Iraqi War video in just a minute. Now look at this. I guess this is a trail. Wow, they got the orange ribbons there. Well, hell, let's follow this and see where it goes. It looks like a new trail. I'm not sure what, <laughs> what, what they're doing. I mean, they got the orange ribbons on the trees. Of course, you know, you think that if they're doing all this work to cut in a new trail, they'd at least pick up the mattress and the tire here. <laughs> you know, I, I certainly can't get it out by myself. But uh, yeah, we're just, I'm kind of following this new twist of the, this could be what's going to become the Florida Trail. Now, I don't understand why they're bypassing where the trail went before. I mean, uh, maybe they just want to reclaim that area. Uh, I don't know. It didn't, didn't look like it needed to be reclaimed. You know, a lot of times you get erosion and, uh, you know, the water's washing out these paths. So you do have to reroute trails from time to time. But I, I didn't feel it was necessary, but let's just keep on going. So once again, only the uh, only the weird stuff <laughs> on the video. So they they brought the trail out right here, and we're heading across over there. I'm not sure what the two metal pipes is right there, uh, but uh, and look, it just cut right through this fence. I mean, that's I'm not sure what the purpose of the fence was. Usually these are to keep horses or you know things back in here, but. Uh, they, uh, they're really uh, rerouting the trails. Um, you know, once again, I, I did want to show, hey, California, <laughs> keep shouting out to you. This is called a fire break. This is what you do to control fires. Yeah, or Oregon, you know, all you Democrat states, this is what you can do to control a fire. There you go. So I always try to get the weird stuff, man. <laughs> Just because I go back and watch my own darn videos because I, I see stuff. I mean, what in the world is this vehicle doing out here? I mean, th that scrap metal, uh, well, it's not worth much right now, but I bet when scrap metal prices go up, as everything will, you know, they might want to just scrap this, but it is cool to see it. And uh, it looks like they cut down the tree right in front of it. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Here's another ribbon <laughs> on, on, on this because they cut that down. So we're, let's just keep going. Boy, a totally different day than what I imagined in my wildest dreams that we would be doing today. Um, loving, loving the new, the new cut in of the trail. And uh, let's just keep going. You know, I never, <laughs> never thought that I would be baffled. I mean, because I really thought I was going to come back out onto the trail at the field and cut through by the baseball fields. But anyway, I wanted to say, hey, California, this is called fire management. We have these uh, roads cut in <laughs> to, to keep the forest fires at bay. Um, but anyway, the trail, you can see the ribbons are, is going this way. And look, I mean, they did a lot of work. See all these, these, these logs that they're putting along the trail really to mark it really well totally different hike than what i thought we were going to get you know so you are getting a new look at what could be the new florida trail right down here next to baseline park going from uh baseline to santos i think this is uh this is going to be cool i can't wait to see where this comes out and totally a different video than what i had planned today <laughs> but look at this i mean what in the world i mean you can see the electrical wiring now the the power lines are right well there's one power line just kind of going through there i have no clue what that is or what the purpose of it is and you get look, looks like a fairly new uh thing right there but here's what the trail's doing um we're just kind of continuing along i i still don't know exactly where i'm at uh in relation to where the trail used to go so what an interesting day who would have thought i love it i love it i love it so they really put a lot of work 
into this. It's uh, I, I man, I tell you, every time I go hiking, the day changes. You know, first I was going to park at the the main area and just come over here. Uh, then then suddenly they've rerouted the trail through the woods back there. Much much better uh, hike. And now they've rerouted the trail going this way. I bet we're going to bypass that grassy area that uh, you have to hike through to get to the baseball fields. But I mean, what an uh, amazing addition to the Florida Trail. I mean, they got all the ribbons on the trees, but they haven't painted them yet. Um, boy, it's just a, I, you know, gosh, I wish they would cut the doggone trail in going up through Silver Springs and going up into the Acala Forest. Maybe they'll get there eventually. I don't know. I, I tell you what, I'm, I've spent, what, almost two, 14 days now cutting my way through those trails and uh, just not making any progress. I mean, how in the world are we ever going to hike all 1,500 miles of the Florida Trail when I have to cut my way, you know, one mile at a time? And sometimes that's all I get is one mile, and I still haven't found a cutting solution for the Ocala National Forest. It's going to take some sort of metal blade, and I don't know. I don't, I don't want to buy another weed eater. Oh, what am I going to use it for? I, mean, I can't use it around my house. You know, what i got to do is maybe go out, and if I can rent one, and then just spend a couple days cutting my way up through the Kala Forest. That'll be where we go. But uh, wow, what a what a difference! This is a really cool addition to the Florida Trail. Going from Baseline Park, okay, we're going from Baseline Park towards the Santos Trail. By the way, I mean, like even with all them people back there, you can see I'm all back here by myself. Um, and uh, just a just a beautiful, beautiful uh, section of the Florida Trail that's very close by. Uh, you know with the thousands and thousands of people moving into the area and all the construction I don't expect to be back here by myself, you know forever anymore, but uh, You know as we get further and further out I bet once we get up into the Akala National Forest I'm sure I'll be by myself back in there because right now it's unhikable You know if you don't bring a, <laughs> your tools with you and have hikers and snake leggings and everything else that you're gonna possibly need which most people don't have you're not gonna get through there, but uh all right, that's, I gotta save some film here for the Iraqi war stories. I, maybe we'll just make two videos today. But I'm really, really enjoying this new hike. I mean, what a, what a treasure. I can't believe they did this. This is awesome. So normally, if we take in the other trail, you, the markers are still here. So I'm, maybe I'm just doing a new trail. Or maybe they're gonna mark it with blue or something. But that's the Florida Trail coming down through there. And here's the baseball area. Sorry to see no kids out playing. And uh, and then it comes right through this fence right here. Um, but actually, we're going back this way. And we're just going to hike through the woods. And I bet this is going to just connect up. Because if you went down that way, you're going to connect into the Florida Trail and go back into the woods. So I bet this new addition is just going to hike through and probably connect back in there. And we'll get a video when I get there. I'm going to try to get him. Here's a little baby snake. I just barely saw him. Better than that. <laughs> you remember that previous snake that I saw that uh, had red and all them colors? Uh, it turns out that was a pretty damn poisonous snake. And, and uh, I'm, well, I'm glad I protected him. You know, he needed to live. There's no reason to kill him, but uh, I'm glad he didn't bite me. Because <laughs> I probably would not have made it to the hospital. But uh, you see, we're getting up next to the railroad track here. And uh, the trail will, should be connecting back with the Florida Trail here momentarily. So I just wanted to get this. It'd be real easy <laughs> to get totally lost back in here without these little orange ribbons that they tied everywhere. And uh, But it's, uh, boy, it just gives you that really good feeling of being way back in the forest. Even though I know I'm not, you know, we're, we're still close to the dump and everything else and I have a feeling we'll break out just up here on the Florida Trail and, and then I'll go ahead and make my Iraqi war video that's uh, that was the goal today I wasn't never anticipating a new hike yeah, that's uh that's the beauty of Florida man I well you know now that we're growing by leaps and bounds I guess they're trying to give some people some new places to go which is good all right this new addition to the Florida Trail really gives you a nice feel. I mean, you really feel like you're back in here. But I, I, I was coming up on some more weird stuff here. 
Oh, there's the orange ribbon. Just trying to follow the orange ribbon. But uh, and this is kind of what you see back here in these forests, you know. There's all this garbage and there's a bicycle right there. <laughs> what in the world is it doing? I mean, look, look, just look around. I'm going to go nice and slow. You know, we're way back in the forest and uh, I always see crazy stuff like that. It just blows my mind. Like, you know, who rode the bike back here and just left it on the ground or left that garbage right there? Who knows? That's it for the new trail. I won't be hiking back that way. I'm not equipped for it. Being a new trail, you know, it's a little bit tougher hike than... So you can see how easy this is. This is the Florida trail that I was planning on hiking today. And now we're just coming up to the uh, the railroad track. And uh, I'll get started on the, um, the Iraqi war video once we get across. Because uh, we're going to go up by the dump. And this is a pretty portion of the hike. I, you know, if you haven't watched my previous videos, you'll get to see some of the same trail. But uh, hell, at least we got to hike a new trail. And, uh, well, look up here. They got some, a bunch of tape. They're really doing some work on this portion of the Florida Trail. I'm glad to see it. I really am glad to see it. Uh, you can tell what they did was they put this log here. They've rerouted the trail over to here to reclaim this area. And that's a great idea. Um, that's what they needed to do. So I'm glad to, glad to see the trail crews at least are doing something on the Florida Trail. Maybe not the portions I'm hiking. All right, well, let's just, uh, we'll get the video here going in just a minute. So it's kind of weird. Maybe they're still working on this section, but they got these little flags in the ground. Here's a spider web. Oh, boy, I'm glad I saw that. God damn it. And uh, we're kind of working our way through with the flags, but I'm not sure that uh, this might just come to an end. Um, but uh, it's hikeable. Well, they've done some work. You can see right here, they've... All this stuff's been cut down. Really cool addition to the trail. Let's just, just keep on going here. But uh, I'm glad I have the orange markers. Because <laughs> I can't tell the woods from the trail uh, without all these orange markers. And uh, I guess they're going to come back in here and paint all this eventually. Because um, this was a lot of work that they've done. And uh, all we got to do is get them to go north. Go north, young man. Go north and work on the Ocala National Forest Trail so I can get through. So, what are we doing to our kids? Three years ago when I first moved here, there'd be thousands of people in here. You know, the, the hot dog stands would be going. You know, you just you look around and there are two kids right over here, so that's good. And then, there, uh, but that's it, and it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. This is when you would expect everybody to be here. I mean, this is a massive facility. These baseball fields go way back that way, and not a sound, not a single person using them. I mean, you think of the, you know, if I was a parent, I'd at least have my kid out here just on this baseball diamond and you know, teaching him how to hit a, a baseball. I just wanted to show you this. It's sad. Very sad. So now I guess I wasted my time because <laughs> I cut us in up here so that you could hike down beside the road. And I guess on my way out, I didn't really see that they cut the trail right through here, going up into Baseline Park. Boy, this is this would be a nice addition. Let's see, it should take me right into the playground. Let's let's check it out. You know, if they are going to reroute the trail along here then my suggestion is just let this grow in and quit cutting it because this used to be the Florida Trail going back that way and going up there where I cut it all in so what a waste of time that was there's the mark on the tree so yeah just you know that'll give you more of a feel of being back in the forest just let all this grow in naturally you know there's no reason to cut all this grass over here just my advice to Florida, and of course nobody will ever watch these videos, but uh, but me anyway. So, that what would be cool sometime, come back and you can get between this fence right here and just see what's back in there. I might do that someday. Well, let's just continue on. This should just open right up into Baseline Park. And uh, But yeah, nice, nice change to the trail. I, I like it a lot. And uh, I don't know why they're cutting all that grass. I'd let it grow in. Wow, look at this tree. You know, I've been by that tree a million times. That's what we have here in Florida sometimes. There's a squirrel over here, if you see him. 
Look at the monster tree. Holy moly. All right. It's getting pretty late, but I thought I'd finish up the video here. Not a mask in sight. Oh, where's Fachi? He's got to be getting upset. He said double mask now, didn't he? <laughs> it's good to be free. Good to be free. Lots of, man, it's packed in here. I can't wait to get past this and get back to hiking by myself. Just wanted to get one last look. Don't come to Florida. If you're going to bring your political beliefs, we're free here. Look at that. Holy moly. There's no virus anymore. So I wanted to show you why I go across 35. This hidden secret is not a secret anymore with thousands of people moving into the area. You can see a lot of people on the trail today here in Baseline Park. It's a Used to be I could come back here and be by myself for days, you know, hours at a time. But uh, anyway, even looking up here, you see the people there. But uh, that's why, you know, you, you got to hit the places in the trail where there's not people. If, you, if you're worried about the virus, I'm, I'm not that worried about it, but uh, I don't want to get it. Anyway, 